One thing all you guys have in common out there is you probably want to have a good sound on the violin. If you guys do, it's really important to work on that bow hand. So don't just grab the bow and just assume that you're always holding it properly. I find all the time that students don't do things like have the thumb curved, have the pinky nice and relaxed, so many things that could be done incorrectly. So I encourage you guys this week to really be watching what you're doing with the bow hold. So let's just go through a few points to make sure you're doing these things. Try to have your index this far over the stick. Don't have it about here. I find all the time that students do that and that causes kind of a stiff hand, bow bounces, all those bad things. So index more over the stick. See how far that it is over. Make sure the thumb is curved. Make sure the pinky's curved. I want you guys to notice something. So I see quite often students have their pinky this far from the stick. That causes bow bounces as well. So we want to actually get the hand more on top. Notice now where my knuckle is in accordance to the bow. It's more on top. So just this little adjustment right here makes a huge difference. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys visit violintutorpro.com to learn how to play the violin and check out our community. Also, Superior Violins is my website, and we have really great quality instruments. As you can see, I have lots of violins. I have to get some off my hands. I, um, I do a trial program where I would love to send you guys a violin to try out for 30 days, and we pay for shipping. Uh, we have some really good stuff I would love to tell you more about. You can email me at michael at superiorviolins.com if you want to learn about our instruments. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and hope to see you in the next video.